2022 Kia Carnival SX Review, Vans are cool, y'all. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Kia is no stranger to minivans, selling the US market Sedona over three generations since its debut in 2002. However, the automaker would maybe prefer you forget the past, which is why it replaced the outgoing minivan with a family hauler called the Carnival, adopting the global name already used in other regions. In fact, Kia is so devoted to minimizing the Sedona's influence that it doesn't even call the 2022 Carnival a minivan at all. Instead, the automaker would have you call it a multi-purpose vehicle, a buzzword that invokes a crossover more than a van. Disguising a Mini's Vanus isn't a new idea. The Chevrolet Uplander and its Buick Terraza, Saturn Relay, and Pontiac Montana SV6 siblings adopted a long snout and lower cladding that GM claimed gave them SUV styling. But where those frankly hideous, lethargic minivans failed, the Carnival succeeds, this Kia family hauler is handsome, versatile, and comfortable, regardless of what you call it. The 2022 Kia Carnival enters a market wherein the minivan segment is dwindling, its former consumers migrating to SUVs by the, um, vanful. As such, Kia adopted a blocky, upright stance for its MPV, hoping to capture some attention from shoppers who might otherwise choose a crossover. If reactions from bystanders are any indication, the automaker succeeded, after I took delivery of the Carnival, my neighbor said, I didn't know they made SUVs with sliding doors. Kia achieved this crossover parity by emphasizing the Carnival's length and width, not its height. A nearly flat body line runs from the headlights to the taillights, incorporating the track of the sliding door along the way. This surfacing detail also makes the hood look longer, flatter, and less droopy than other vans. The intricately styled headlight elements are exposed, rather than hidden under transparent plastic, and the Kia Tiger nose grille recalls the Celto small crossover. A skinny, full-width taillight and satin silver skid plate trim appear around back, helping the Carnival look less top-heavy. The most divisive styling feature is a kinked hockey stick of metallic trim appearing aft of the sliding door and wrapping around the rear windows that helps the C-pillar look a bit swoopier. The unfortunate side effect is a set of comically tiny third-row quarter windows, which neither roll down nor pop out for ventilation. The satin aluminum trim is also a bit fiddly looking, with hexahedron surfacing that not everyone likes, though I personally love it. Inside, this SX model gets beautiful tan and black Syntex upholstery, Kia calls it Tuscan Umber, with front bucket seats separated by a fixed center console that houses a traditional shift lever. The console preempts a traditional minivan's pass-through functionality, but it's undeniably a comfortable place to rest your arm, with plenty of storage to boot. Materials quality is generally pretty impressive, with soft-touch materials on the console, door panel uppers, and dash fascia. Hard plastic appears liberally in the rear cabin, but that's common, and even welcome, in this class of vehicle, which has to endure the rigors of hockey carpool. The 2022 Kia Carnival is near the top of its class in terms of passenger comfort. The SX trim has supportive front bucket seats that are heated and cooled, and that aforementioned console adds a bit more comfort and familiarity to those trading in a crossover. The Syntex upholstery does a great imitation of genuine leather, feeling as nice as the actual hides found in the Honda Odyssey. Space up front is exemplary, with more head and shoulder room than any of its competitors, the Chrysler Pacifica ties the Carnival in front legroom, resting at the top of the class.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.